Are we live? Did it work? All right, guys, give me one second while I check this out and see. Okay, yeah, because we're starting. Okay, okay, I think I can do this. Oh, no, please don't start falling over stuff, please. Okay, yes, all right. All right, I'm sorry to all the people who are like, who are like coming out and I'm like, oh, no. Okay, this is the first time I've ever done live streaming, so just bear with me for just a minute. I've never done it outside of video gaming. Uh, is there a control room for this? I swear I'm coming back. I swear it won't let me see anything. This is what people who live stream have staff to watch the computer for them. I see it now. All right. All right. I have no idea. This computer is old as dirt. But okay, so I'm going to try and go on anyways, and fingers crossed it works and everybody can hear me and see me. Uh, welcome to the other side of my workspace. This is the angle you've been seeing me from previously. Uh, well, basically, I've been doing Booktubeathon all week. I've been doing face camera in vlogging all week, and I ended up having one book left over that didn't fit. I had like eight things to cover in seven days. So instead of just giving up on it, not doing it, I'm going to try it as a live stream review because I've never done one before. So, hey, and I cannot see your comments because I'm not streaming through YouTube. You have to get a third party software to stream. So when I look over here, it's to see like what's going on with the comments and stuff. So I see a lot of highs and I, I see, okay, I'm trying. Ah! <laughs> This is why I edit everything. I'm not good live. I cough a lot and I get my words mixed up a lot and now I've got my hair stuck in my glasses like a real genius here. Okay, but see, if I put on my glasses, you see the problem with that is all you see is the ring light. But okay, I see a lot of highs, hairs, hearts, Angelica, Mal, Mal, Donna, Bell. Liz, I love you, I love you too. MVMV111 says cat. With an emoji. <laughs> okay, um, I, I'm gonna not super pay attention to the comments for a minute. I can do this review and not look like a total idiot when people try to click on it later. Okay, but I did. Shoot. Okay, work with me. Oh, I got hairs in my mouth from where my glasses got stuck. Okay, no, I don't need you. If you can see, probably not. I don't know. I did did the audiobook with crowd cloud library called the graveyard book and that's by neil gaiman who of course wrote Coraline. and i have to say as an audiobook it was really interesting i don't do a lot of audiobooks but then again i don't do a whole lot of regular books because of my dyslexia but what was really neat it's about this well it says it's, i thought it was for like middle grade readers or young adults and it's actually like for fourth and fifth graders and I was like, this this book is scary. Like, this is kind of freaky for little kids. Although I guess Coraline is considered a kid's book too, so who knows. But uh, the Graveyard book is about this little boy. He starts off maybe one or two years old, and somebody comes into his house to kill him. And instead, he, he sort of, you know, slid down the stairs and gone outside and ended up in the graveyard. And once he gets in the graveyard, these ghosts are hanging around, and they're watching him going like, huh, wonder what this baby in the graveyard's about. And while they're kind of figuring that out, this mother figure ghost appears and really panic going, oh, please take care of my baby, take care of my baby. And so two of the ghosts, the Owens, which were a married couple, they decide, okay, well, we'll take care of him. We'll raise him like he's our own. And so the graveyard ghosts decide to keep this human infant and they don't know his name. So they name him Nobody Owens because his new adoptive parents are the Owens and it was it was odd at first because for the several chapters going into it it was like these are more like disconnected stories a lot of times they jump like three years apart and it's it was more like a kid's serialization where you'd pick up one and then a couple years later they might release another one and oh here's a new story about Bob Owens but this was really different because I, I don't know, it just felt weird, like they were almost disconnected stories with the same characters, like a Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. And then it came back in in chapter seven and just tied everything together. And it was really like interesting and all the weird, there's so much I could theorize on in, in that book. 
But unfortunately, I don't know that books really have the same uh, watcher appeal. And unfortunately, with YouTube, it's about where my time is best invested so that I can make the best return of investment on my time. So if people don't watch book videos, I can't do book theories. But there were all kinds of creatures. There were ghouls. There were was the indigo man. There were all these like oddball things that happened that the book really doesn't explain. And what I found really interesting, too, was the, he meets a little girl. Bob meets a little girl named Scarlet when he's about five. And she goes away, doesn't come back, moves back to the area when she's a teenager and finds him again. And you kind of think, like, oh, my gosh, they're going to be meant together. They're going to stay together. This is kismet. But that's not how it works out. And it's very interesting how it works out, maybe even very realistic. And I appreciated that it wasn't just the expected thing. And let's see what else was there. Oh, the ending. Um, I don't want to spoil it. I do want you to go read it for yourself so we can kind of chat back and forth about it later on. But um, I, I did find the ending kind of strange. It was a little like, oh gosh, how to put it without giving it all away. It, it, it basically was like at 15, he couldn't really, he, oh gosh, how do I explain that? Okay, he was very, like, part of the graveyard world. He had the freedom of the graveyard, so he could kind of phase through things to a degree or do what they call fading, where you couldn't see him if you were a regular human. So he could kind of hide, and that's how he stayed in the graveyard for a big, giant chunk of his life, like 15 years. But as he got older, he found those things harder and harder to do, and eventually the graveyard kind of put, spits him out into the real world. And... I, I think what would have made the book really kind of more perfected or well-rounded well for me would be if Bod had gone to find his mother's grave. <coughs> okay, I'm going to check on the comments for just a second. Because I see him going crazy over here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Still lots of highs. Has anybody read the Graveyard book? I'd be curious to know that. Or any other Neil Gaiman books. I'm not sure how much the delay is on this. So, okay, it's like really All right, well, I will say now, after having experienced two different Neil Gaiman books, and, uh, oh, actually, I think he does uh, American Gods now, which is starting to be a big show on AMC, maybe? One of those channels. Uh, one of those channels. It's like, I don't know, I watched the first three or four episodes, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to be completely obsessed with this, and I keep seeing his name pop up, but... After seeing, he's kind of got this theme of being in the very occult, the very Tim Burton-ish kind of dead style, and I don't know, it just feels so mature for kids, <laughs> some of the stuff he talks about. But at the same time, as an adult, I'm kind of devouring it, and I'm loving it, and I'd like some feedback if anybody has any, but it's kind of, it's kind of gotten quiet now over here. Hello? Anybody around? Maybe I'm lagging. I can't tell. I've got this little. Oh, yeah, my live stream health is not the best. I see it turning red. All right, all right, yes. I'm getting lots of warnings that this stream is bouncing between good and bad health. And I don't know how to fix that. I think that's all just dependent on if my. Oh, and of course, now my phone's going to go off. Cheers. I can't stop it from making its text noise of Venture Brothers. All right. Well, guys, I guess that's going to be my live stream. It's been almost 16 minutes of you listening to me crazily ramble. For the people who come in later to see it, uh, pop a comment, say hi, tell me if you've read Neil Gaiman books, and I guess I'll see you next time.